Hey there! What do you know about the Panama Canal? It's big. It's busy. It's full of water, right? But will it stay that way? This vital nautical passage that connects two of the world's largest oceans with billions of dollars of global trade each year is facing a threat to its very existence. A recent publication in Science.org reported the big disadvantage that the Panama Canal has as a maritime route is that we operate with fresh water. While others use seawater, we have to find other solutions to remain a relevant route for international trade. If we don't adapt, we are going to die. Did you know that the Panama Canal has to use fresh water so that the surrounding villages don't have a salty water supply? Lives are at stake, as well as the viability of multinational shipping companies. The struggles are real and have a global impact. But why now? What has changed? This sudden worry is because, unfortunately, experts say that the Panama Canal is running out of water. Nearly half of U.S. sea freight passes through here every year, and that needs to continue to be possible. But less water means fewer ships that can pass through each day. It's like trying to drive home from the office through L.A. traffic after half of the lanes on the freeway just disappeared. If you were driving in that commute, what would you do? Just get in a lane and wait forever? Spend tons of extra money taking a helicopter Uber home? Whichever option you choose, it's going to increase your expenses and hurt your bottom line. The captains of these ships are now faced with this same dilemma. This has opened up a money-making, line-cutting industry, though. Rich captains can pay $4 million to skip directly to the front of the line. Who are they getting these ideas from anyway? Disney World? It's like a Disney Fast Pass on steroids. But what if you don't pay that? So now what? Well, there are strategies in place that might fix the problem. Why is the canal running out of water? The Panama Canal relies on Gaten Lake's water to operate its locks. Gaten Lake plays a vital role in maintaining the canal's water levels, especially during the transit of ships through the locks, and the lake is drying up. Several factors are contributing to this dwindling water supply. First, climate change. Changes in global climate patterns have led to variations in rainfall and temperature. Panama has experienced shifts in its climate, affecting the regular rainfall that feeds into Gatton Lake. Climate change has led to unpredictable weather patterns, including periods of drought, which impact the water levels in the lake. Second, reduced rainfall. Gatton Lake depends on rainfall to replenish its water levels. Insufficient rainfall in the region can lead to a decrease in the lake's water volume, affecting the canal's ability to facilitate the passage of ships. In fact, last year's rainfall was 41% lower than normal, a record low since 1951. Third, increased evaporation. High air temperatures, presumably due to climate change, can result in increased evaporation rates from bodies of water, including Gatton Lake. This contributes to a loss of water volume, further exacerbating the canal's water supply challenges. Fourth, the growing demand for water. The surrounding region's increasing population and economic activities may result in a higher demand for water resources. This growing demand can place additional stress on the water supply for the canal. To address these challenges and ensure the sustained operation of the Panama Canal, Various measures have been proposed, and some of them have been implemented. These include water conservation initiatives, improvements in water management practices, and the exploration of engineering solutions to enhance the canal's resilience in the face of changing climate conditions. To address the YouTube algorithm, go ahead and rain down on the like and subscribe buttons now so this channel doesn't dry up as well. Thanks. Now, the Panama Canal is a crucial part of the global supply chain, and 6% of the world's shipping passes through this 82-kilometer passage by using the canal. Ships avoid a 20,000-kilometer trip around one of the most treacherous stretches of water in the world. Sustaining the Panama Canal for future generations involves addressing the current challenges related to water supply 
and ensuring the canal's resilience in the face of evolving environmental conditions. Here are some key aspects and potential strategies for securing the long-term viability of the Panama Canal. Using Water More Efficiently Implementing technologies such as water-saving lock designs, sensor-based water control, and water recycling systems will optimize water usage during transits. Furthermore, utilizing advanced monitoring systems to track real-time water levels, quality, and usage patterns will enable productive adjustments in operations to conserve water. Implementing these advanced water management practices can optimize the use of available water resources while investing in technologies that minimize water wastage and enhance the efficiency of the canal's operations to promote water conservation, both within the canal's infrastructure and in the surrounding region. Adapting to the current climate is key. Upgrading and fortifying canal infrastructure to withstand the impacts of climate change include extreme weather events and variations in precipitation will help to soften the blow of climate change. Continuously investing in infrastructure upgrades including reinforcement of canal banks, upgrading lock systems, and deepening channels to accommodate changing water levels is a must. Incorporating projections of sea level rise into the canal's long-term planning with adaptions like raised embankments and modified infrastructure will mitigate potential impacts. Conducting regular assessments and updates will ensure the canal's design and engineering adapt to the latest climate projections. Developing adaptive management plans rather than relying on reactive plans will allow for flexible responses to challenge environmental conditions. Research and innovation provide support for the ongoing development of new technologies and strategies for managing water resources effectively. Furthering scientific study. A key goal is to collaborate with scientific institutions and experts who monitor climate patterns to proactively assess environmental impacts and identify adaptive solutions before they become grave situations. Investing in cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, satellite monitoring, and climate modeling will enhance the understanding and prediction of climate patterns. Developing adaptive technologies, including smart infrastructure that responds dynamically to environmental conditions, allows for real-time adjustments and canal operations. Collaborating with neighboring countries, international organizations, and environmental agencies will address shared challenges related to climate change and water management, while engaging in partnerships that promote sustainable practices and contribute to the overall health of the region will provide benefits to the Panama Canal and beyond. Public awareness and education have been missing. Raising awareness among the public, stakeholders, and local communities about the importance of water conservation and the sustainable use of resources by providing educational programs to enhance understanding of the impacts of climate change and the role that individuals and communities play in preserving water resources will bring a more personal accountability to the problem. Similarly, enacting and enforcing policies that promote sustainable water use and environmental conservation could have a positive impact. Regularly reviewing and updating regulations to align with the latest scientific findings and best practices in climate resilience will be a focus in 2024, as will investment in renewable energy. Exploring the feasibility of incorporating solar and hydroelectric power generation into the canal's energy mix can reduce reliance on traditional energy sources. Implementing LED lighting for the canal, as well as other energy-saving technology throughout the canal's infrastructure, will minimize energy consumption. Exploring and investing in renewable energy sources to power canal operations will reduce the reliance on traditional energy sources and minimize the environmental footprint, regularly reassessing and updating strategies based on the latest scientific data and technological advancements. Developing comprehensive scenario plans that account for various climate-related changes will enable the canal to respond effectively to evolving conditions. And this lack of evolution and inflexibility over the past 100 years is really why we are in this problem today. So, flexibility in operations is key. 
designing operational plans that allow for flexibility in response to changing environmental conditions such as adjusting transit schedules or implementing temporary operational changes during periods of water scarcity must be considered. By addressing these aspects comprehensively, the Panama Canal can enhance its ability to navigate the challenges of climate change and water supply, ensuring that it remains a vital and sustainable conduit for global trade for future generations. Collaboration among various stakeholders, a commitment to innovation, and a focus on long-term planning will be essential in 2024 and beyond to achieve these sustainability goals. It's not just about global trade, though. What about the fresh water supply that the surrounding villages need to survive that we mentioned in the beginning of this video? Well, the Panama Canal doesn't directly take fresh water away from the villages for its operations because it primarily relies on water from Gatton Lake, which is a man-made lake created during the canal's construction. Gatton Lake collects rainwater from the Chagas River and other local sources. So, while the canal itself doesn't divert water from villages, the management of water resources, particularly during periods of drought or increased canal traffic, can impact local communities indirectly. In times of drought, there must be discussions regarding how to balance the needs of the canal with the needs of the surrounding people and ecosystem. The Panama Canal Authority, which oversees the canal, does have measures in place to ensure responsible water management and to consider the broader ecological and human impact of its operations. So, any adjustments to the canal water levels have to be made after careful consideration of the possible side effects on the surrounding environment and communities. It's amazing to think just how problematic creating a canal in Panama really was failures and disasters struck that claimed the lives of people, actually tens of thousands of workers, from diseases like malaria. This project even ruined the careers of two of France's most famous engineers before a workable solution could be developed. But in spite of these challenges, after 10 years of hard work, the canal was finally completed thanks to the availability of new modern machinery and advancements in tropical medicine. This feat was seen as an incredible achievement for an emerging world power. Since its opening, the Panama Canal has been instrumental to global trade, servicing over 1 million ships. So, next time you're watching something on the east coast of the US, or your goods arrive on a container ship that's passed through the Panama Canal, take a moment to appreciate the incredible engineering and sacrifice that made it all possible. See you in the next video.